All right, so we're gonna play some more Pac-Man World 2 today. And the great thing, and also the not so great thing, is we have to start out this episode with like the hardest boss in the whole game. <laughs> you guys will see what I mean. <clears throat> And I never did fix that audio problem. Hmm. I wonder if there is a way to fix that. Hang on, I got an idea. I don't know if this will work or not. But I'm gonna go to audio. I'm gonna turn on audio stretching. Uh, maybe that'll maybe that'll fix it. I don't know. I mean, it's worth a try. So it looks like we're um sixty one percent done the game in two and a half hours. That's not bad. That does not fix the weird little pop. I don't know what that is. I can't really tell. It's a bit weird. Hmm. It could it could have to do with the clock override. I do have that on. I don't know if that's what's causing it. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had like lunch. <clears throat> And obviously, I don't want V-Sync on, because V-Sync is, uh... Yeah, it's kind of causing it to break. I don't think the anti-aliasing really changes anything, either. <clears throat> okay. So let's, uh... Let's just do the hardest boss in the game. Because this guy... This guy fucking sucks. Hold up, hold up. I gotta reload Twitch. Twitch is being a bitch again. Yeah, wacka wacka. Wacka wacka. Let's put the chat box right here. Also, look at the token counter. The token counter got fucked up. What the hell? <laughs> That's weird. <clears throat> so yeah, this boss... This boss is actually really hard. <laughs> to be fair though, I have fought this guy a lot, but I don't know, it's just kind of one of those bosses that, regardless it, regardless if you um, have fought him like a million times or not, he never gets any easier. Oh, yep, that th there's a great example of that. <laughs> Is the token still messed up? Why does it look like that? I don't know. That's a bit weird. Yeah, that's not a big deal. I mean, I already know how many tokens I have anyway. So, basically, to do this fight, you have to hit him. <clears throat> Ow. You have to hit him two times. To get a checkpoint. And yeah, you definitely don't wanna you definitely don't wanna jump too much. There we go. Okay, so we got a checkpoint at least. Oh yeah, and there's also an extra life over here. I'm gonna go grab that. Oh or not. <laughs> yeah, this fight this fight's still janky. Bro, I almost fucking died again. <laughs> yeah, he can also do that. He likes to put fire everywhere. <laughs> mm. Alright, you can come you can come down, buddy. This guy is impervious to um, rev rolls too, so you have to um You just kinda have to deal with his BS. Alright, let's get ready. Alright, that's phase two. I think he's broken up into like four or five phases. I'm not sure. 
gotta go get a, gotta go get some health. And also, another random thing that can happen on this fight, if you're not careful, is randomly, he can also, um, his hitbox will just break for no reason. Which is also really annoying when that happens. Okay, so that's phase three now. I think the health or the health is respawning. Oh, fuck off, bro! <laughs> Why he do that? Oh, there's there's no there's no health. Now he's, like, now he's shooting like three fireballs at a time. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Bro is so aggressive. Why, why, okay, ser seriously though, why the hell did the health not respawn? The health is just gone. Circles. That might be my only way to survive. Okay. Oh yeah. Th there, there's the janky hitbox I was talking about. Anyways, we're on to the final phase now. Oh, poop. <laughs> what? Ugh. You just, you just randomly die when that happens. So the health only, the health only shows up after one successful phase. That's kind of weird. Bro, stop. Oh my god. Another thing is, it, like, the game lags when he shoots, like, three fireballs at a time. That's another thing. Rip. Bro, will Twitch stop being a fucking bitch and not loading chat? Why does it do that? Come on. I would, like, I'm trying to fucking read chat, but it says, Nope, you don't get to see chat. You have to reload. <laughs> like, that's not a good time, Twitch. If this is, like, the... If this, is a, if this is a genuine strat, like, just run in circles... <laughs> Well, see, even that's not that viable. Alright, he has one hit left. Alright, do your thing. What is he doing? <laughs> the fuck? Down to my last hit already, bro. Uh. Are you done yet? Okay, we did it. That's the hardest boss. That's the hardest boss in the game. That <laughs> fuck Twitch, bro. I don't know how many lives that took. Uh, I had like. 20 something left. But we're done with the hardest boss in the game. That's the hardest like thing in the game actually. Like it's that boss right there. Anyways. 
We, um... Now we have a water level. And, um, these water levels also kind of suck. Because the depth perception is really weird. So I'm not probably not going to 100% these first try either. I, I don't think I've ever actually 100% at any of these levels, though, to be fair. But I mean, I'll try. I'll try and get as much as I can. And I don't think you can kill the mines either, so I'm not going to bother with them. But I don't really like these levels because um, you're kind of on rails the whole time. Oh, I missed something. Yeah, I'm missing all the damn pack dots. Oh, and these sharks. They 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 are they're insta kills, by the way. <laughs> so you don't want to get hit by them. We got our first checkpoint. Oh, and the ghosts also have tokens, so you definitely gotta get them. Even speedrunners don't really like this look. It's mostly just like spamming the dash button over and over. So that's 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 also not fun. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell? Yeah. How? How? Seriously though, how fuck are you supposed to do that? Got another checkpoint. I'm gonna, uh, let me at least get. Pra I'm gonna at least get some practice in for my. Uh, you know, when I have to 100% this level eventually. Playing this level in widescreen actually does make it a lot easier, though. <laughs> I know later on, those sharks... They eventually, um... They eventually have, like, fruit inside of them. So they're, they are important. Whoops. And I don't think any of the mines have tokens. That's in a different level altogether. Okay. Doing good though so far. Okay, I got all the oranges. That's good at least. Oh. Not ideal. Uh, they're gonna go out of the way. Dodge that shit. I wanna try and do this level in just one nice run, you know? Oh boy, ow. I don't know how I was just to dodge that. Oh, bollocks. Oh yeah, so by the way, um... I bought some- I bought something called Tim Tams today. And I was like, what the fuck are Tim Tams? <laughs> and so I decided to try them out, because I, I wanted to buy some new cookies that I've never had before. And in the cookie section, you know, I see something called Tim Tams, and I'm gonna- I was like, alright, I'll try them out. And, um, I don't really know what to think of them so far. I only had a couple. And then again, I had them after, you know, I ate my chicken wraps, so... That might kinda just, you know, like, leave a bad taste or something, I don't know. Oh, that's the thing that killed me last time. There's these jellyfish. Oh, there's the Galaxian. I'll get the Galaxian on the 100% playthrough. We can do that later. I know we're not getting everything on this first playthrough, because I want to learn the level. Well, I feel like we have to be getting close, because there's not much left. Ow. 
I think we made it to the end. Yeah, and then you get these little, like, things you go inside. Tim Tams. Candy brand? I mean, it's close, because it's a cookie. <laughs> I don't know where they're from, but they exist. Hey, I got all the tokens. So how much did I miss? I missed two strawberries, um, the Galaxian, and 13 of the pack dots. Oh, I could totally 100% that level, man. That, that's easy. I'll do the time trial first, though. I really only missed two of the fruits, surprisingly. Okay. Let's try the time trial. We need to be in 146. Which is easier said than done. So get ready to mash the shit out of that dash button. Be matching this whole level. <laughs> well, you guess we're damage boosting. I think speedrunners typically do like to damage boost in this level anyway. You gotta like fly over those guys. Ghost. Not doing good on health. Oh boy. No, oh, bro. How the fuck was I supposed to see that guy? I was, like, right at the end, too. Oh, yeah, you definitely want to hit as many of the boxes as possible. Because the more boxes you hit, the more uh, time bonus you can get. Huh? Yeah, okay, because you get like a double spin off of a box. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it sure is nice. Ow. Yeah, I didn't want to get hit by that. Oh, the fucking the fucking eels suck. They come out when you least expect them to. How did I go over the box, bro? Gotta get ready for that eel that's coming up. There's like an eel coming up here sooner or later. Look at this guy, like right here. Okay, 
stay on the left side. There we go. I have to be getting freaking close. Do I have to beat this in like 143 though? I think you do. Yeah, you have to beat that in 7 seconds less than that. How the fuck? One forty six. I was four seconds off. I could totally do that. Well, it was not too bad, honestly. speed. Bro! Nah, I fucking reset in that. Jeez. I'll give it one more attempt and then I'll move on to the next level if I can't get it. Because <laughs> the, these these levels, I do not I do not feel like doing today. These are like the, the fuck you, I'm doing these at the end of the game kind of levels. Just because, yeah, I, I don't like them. <laughs> I didn't want to get hit by that. I also didn't want to dot miss those boxes, bro. Bro, you gotta stop getting hit. Jesus. Missed a ghost again. Oh, these fucking time trials, man. None of these are fun. <laughs> None of these are fun, I'm telling you, man. I'd at least like to get to, um, you know, the ghost world. So this is just kind of this is just kind of a shitty part of the game where you're doing like boring on rails levels and stuff. Taking unnecessary damage again. Okay, I did want to get that because I get health for eating that ghost. Bro, stop getting hit so much, jeez. are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'll do this on I'll do this one later. These all fucking suck, bro. This is gonna be part of the cleanup episode. Because <laughs> I hate these levels, dude. I th These levels are the reason I ever 100%ed this game. Because they're not fun. 
And then you have to do another one back to back, and it's basically the same shit. Except the music's slightly better. That's the only difference. I know these sharks have things in them. I forget which ones, though. That's the thing. Alright, just getting bombarded by freaking all kinds of dumb shit. Well, at least you have that. I have another strawberry. That, that strawberry box has a token, is what I meant to say. I swear there are, like, hidden tokens behind walls and stuff or something. Hmm. I don't know, for some reason I remember the sharks having strawberries in them. Am I wrong about that? I could be. It's possible I'm wrong about that. Random missiles. <laughs> like, who the hell is throwing missiles, bro? Oh, yeah, this part kind of sucks. I think if you. I don't think there's any reason to go on the left side. Oh, yeah, there's this right here. That's kind of easy to miss, honestly. Like, you can honestly get all the tokens and just not worry about doing the time trials and shit for these levels, because they're not fun. Hmm. Oh, there's a frickin' box there, dude? Hold on. Let me, let me die real quick. I want to get that, whatever that is. So that they tricked me. They made me go. They made me go right there, and I missed a box. Like how could how could they do this? Not very nice of them. <laughs> Anyways, those Tim Tams were pretty good though. Like they were, they were decent. Not as good as like Oreos or any other more like famous brand name type of thing, but yeah, I like them. Okay, so we're gonna go on the left side this time. Because the left side has a box that I can break. Yep, and there's a token in there. Sure enough. I know there's like a Galaxian hidden behind one of these. Could be wrong about that. I guess I'm getting a lot of the fruits. Damn missiles, bro. There's so many of them. <laughs> wow, that's real fair. There's another box here. Does this one have a melon on it? That's a pretty easy melon to get. It's like Melon DS. <laughs> oh, the Galaxian's just right there. Okay. I'm gonna get it on the 100% playthrough then. Although the, although the fruits are pretty fun to grab. I swear there was like an alternate pathway where you can get some shit. I think we're at the end of the level already. All right, there we go. And that level is pretty monotonous as well. 
Here, let's grab a Fumo to support us. I missed a token somewhere. What? Where? Where the fuck did I miss a token, dude? How? <laughs> How did I miss it? Oh yeah, also this level sucks too. This is probably the worst level in the game. Yeah. This level, this level legit sucks. Because, uh, for a few reasons. One, I believe this level goes on for, like, actual years. It goes on for, like, seven minutes. And also, I believe you have to destroy every single mine if you want to get every fruit. And all of the ghost ships, too. <laughs> yeah, this level is as boring as it gets. <laughs> I'm definitely not 100%ing this one first try, I can tell you that. Because trust me, I've tried 100%ing this one. <laughs> That's at least pretty satisfying. It's like Toho, but it's not good. <laughs> I could have sworn that, um... I could oh, there's a token down there. What? How did I miss that, bro? No, seriously, how the fuck did I miss that? Hold on, we're going back for that. Okay, come on. Come on, you guys, you guys can hurry up, you know. <laughs> Funky support. Yep. No, no, seriously, though, how the fuck did I miss that token? I was literally right next to it. Doesn't make any sense. There's a cherry right there. What the fuck? Where the to why is the token not there now? Okay, it's not down here. Where the hell did the token go? It's not there anymore. D does it despawn when you die or something? Yeah, you guys can see why I don't like this though. I'm just gonna be bitching about it the whole time. I've never 100 percent this level for a reason, because it's just it's just not fun to do. Oh. Oh and I missed a cherry already. And also any I think any of these can have like fruits in them too. So yeah, good luck trying to 100 percent this level, is all I can say. I haven't found a single token besides that first one. Literally, I haven't found shit. We ain't found shit. Okay, what the fuck? What was that hitbox, bro? I clearly touched that. Oh, we got our first orange, too. Absolutely shit level design, bro. I hate this level so much. Bro, I literally phased right through that token. And I just don't have any fucking bullets. I can't shoot any of these guys. I missed another orange. Because the damn, the damn explosions get in the way, bro. You can't fucking see.
There's an apple right here. And yeah, there's also these guys. <laughs> I get absolutely obliterated here. And I, there's also another... Oh, well, there's a platform. Okay. Th this is at least cool. I do like this. I assume you lose this once you get hit. So I guess we're gonna see how long it takes me to, um, oh yeah, I lost it. Like, I, have, I have no bullets right now. I really don't know how you're supposed to 100% this level, seriously. Like, this, ra this level really just drags way too long. Hmm. I'm, like, I'll have to look up a guide on, like, how to actually 100% this level, because I don't know how people do it. I mean, at least there's health. I don't know, like, how does it work? Do, like, ve does very specific- do very specific, um, mines have what I need, or is it, like, just a set number of them I have to hit? Like, I don't know, and I missed another token. Again. I just can't do anything, because I have no fucking bullets. At least I got all the oranges. I got one token. Wait, what do you mean I got all the oranges? I, I, there was clearly one right there. There's only two apples in this level. That is also- that's also weird. I want that health. Whoops. I have no bullets, bro. token. It just never ends. It never ends, dude. What the hell? And I can't go under there, apparently. Oh, and then it, the level just abruptly ends. It's really weird. I don't like that level. <laughs> I never did. Anyways, let's see how badly I did. I only found two out of eight tokens. Okay, getting all the fruits isn't bad. But, seriously, how the fuck are you supposed to get all the tokens? I never could find all the tokens in this level. By the way, look at that time, look at that time trial. You see that bullshit? Seven minutes and 14 seconds. The level takes that long to beat. Mm -mm. That level's terrible. <laughs> I fucking hate that one. I like, I, 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 I don't want to do that one.
At least the boss is good, though. The boss is actually really good to make up for how shitty everything else has been. You actually get to do a like you actually get to do a shmup section. Like a proper shmup. at like a decent rate so that I don't lose all my bullets. Oh. And there's also checkpoints in this boss too. Yeah, I, I like the I like this boss. This a bo this boss ma is kind it like makes up for how shitty the world has been. I think that did damage to the boss. Oh, part of the part of the like whale just came off. Ow. Okay, he just kind of fecked off. Press X to use Smart Bomb. No, no, uh, an extra health, though, so far. I literally could not see what was happening there. At least I get full health now, though. Okay. <laughs> Get out of here, guys. Jesus Christ. Plus, the music in this boss fight goes hard, too. So, it also makes it more enjoyable for that reason as well. <laughs> Alright, we just have to hit, like, one more part of the boss. A.K.A. the part that he doesn't want me to hit. It's probably, like, the hardest part of the boss to hit so far. It's only- because it's only on screen for, like, a little bit at a time. Yeah, I'll damage boost. Oh, yeah, if I remember correctly, this this boss makes like an ear screeching sound when you kill it. But I don't know if I'm misremembering that or not. Well, I'd appreciate it to have my bullets back. That that's it. <laughs> that is pre pretty fucking badass, though. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we get a we get a pretty decent boss to make up for a really shitty world. So yeah, <laughs> in terms of tokens, uh, didn't do so good on these worlds, especially this one. I missed one there somehow. Okay, so one forty six and one fifty four. These worlds are near identical in length. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I think we might just beat the game today.
I mean, at least, at least I'm gonna try. Or, yeah. This level is... Again, this level... I don't really like this level much either. But this level is better than the, um... It's better than the... What you call it? Uh, I forgot. I don't know what to call it. It's better than the ice skating level from earlier in the game. And the reason for that is you actually kind of have a bit more control over Pac-Man. And you really need you really need a fuck ton of momentum to get this damn pack dot. How the hell do you get that? I think I need to have like a shit ton of momentum to get it. There we go. Yeah, and there's all these damn bats. And you always seem to miss like one pack dot every time. Which makes this this level, in particular, really annoying to play. Because you can't get all the pack dots at once. You have to, like, fucking finagle yourself around to get that one that you missed. And also these damn bats just show up randomly and do damage. <laughs> so again, I missed, I missed, a frickin', missed that freaking pack dot. I have to have, like, the perfect jump to get it. Okay, there, I got all of them. You have to have, like, the perfect arc to even think about getting it. Oh, yeah, and here's the, here's the devil ghosts from earlier in the game, if you guys remember those guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna be, like, praying for checkpoints in this level. Because, uh, yeah, this level is really rough. I thought there was a token up there. I mean, there was a life, so I guess there wouldn't be a token as well. Oh yeah, there's also this. There's this weird green gas. There's only like one of this thing in the entire game. I don't even know what you call it. But I'm gonna try and get all these pack dots. If the ledge grabbing in this game wasn't so damn good, it would be a lot more annoying to, um, 100% as well. Okay, so here's the part of the level where, um, the bridges start to fall. Can <laughs> I die already? I kinda need to land on- I need to land on that thing. You have to have, like, the perfect jump. Yeah, that's one. I do like this level... I do like parts of this level, because, um... Also, I think you want to go up here? Oh, poop. Bro, what the foot? I mean, I hope I have enough lives for this level. You think 29 is enough? Devil ghosts. <laughs> the theremin in this in this level is going crazy. No, I missed the pack dot. I wasn't fast enough, man. Oh, also, yeah, you you have to be careful because. You spawn in the level, you instantly die if you run off. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I don't know why my soundboard is coming from my TV still. I need to fix that. I'll fix it later. Maybe when I'm playing uh, Infernax with uh, Jordan later, because we're going to try that game out. So yeah, you have, to, you have to do, like, one perfect run of this level. I'm assuming I want to go on the top route again. But I don't think it matters here.
Uh oh, no, far. Dude, that really sucks. Okay, hang on. Um, to be on the safe side, I'm gonna make a safe state because you never know. Uh, okay, I just straight up missed the, just straight up missed the apple there. This level is gonna be kind of a bitch, hundred percent as well. I think. I'm gonna try and finish this game today, though. We should make this very short because there's only three parts, and then I have to do like a fourth part where I have to do clean up and stuff. I mean, it's not bad. I'm getting pretty far in my uh, Toho Six highlights. Which is good. I'm on like part 9 out of part 11, I want to say, because I think there's 11 parts. Because part 11 is where I just beat Flandre. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, uh, this has an, this has an apple on it, which I want. Okay, okay. There's a cherry there. Oh my god, how the fuck did I not make that? That was bullshit. <laughs> And I gotta do that whole last section again. Great. But I saw the checkpoint, so we know what we gotta do. Yeah, I think this is the first, like, this is like the first song I really heard a theremin in. Every time I hear theremins, I always associate it with this song right here. Which we know that's not bad, right? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I want that token. Come on, give me that. <laughs> that was a close one. Oh boy. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys! Oh! <laughs> okay. Let's get that damn apple and book it! Um... Question. If I grab this checkpoint and die, does the apple respawn? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if the apple respawns. Okay, it does. That's good. I mean, that that that's not good, though, but whatever. I gotta go back for that. I gotta go back for the apple, bro. That apple is mine. You just don't get enough momentum there, bro. It's pretty annoying. I want that apple, bro. Give me that shit. Give me that 4k apple. There, I got it. <laughs> okay, this is, the, this is one of the more normal parts of the level. There's just pack dots and a ring. You know, typical stuff. There. See, now that's way more normal. This part of the level I actually like. Because it, it, it's very, um... It actually feels like, you know, part of the main quest. That doesn't really make any sense, but you know what I mean. And we go up here. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, th this part is all, like, very normal. 
you just get typical typical Pac-Man platforming here. Including uh, multiple pathways. I don't really know, but I'm gonna go for um, I'm gonna go over here. So you get that really easy section after all this BS. And then we're gonna grab the let's just grab the checkpoint and the Galaxian. They put like two checkpoints right next to each other. <laughs> and then you get like a normal ass maze. <laughs> Always funny when you get shit like that. You can't stop me. You can't stop me, Inky. I'm gonna get all the shit. Well, I want that. I want that Galaxian. Gives me a nice 2,000 points. Because this is a typical Pac-Man maze. I'll let you guys come to me. I'm surprised Pinky didn't come after me there. That would have been really rude of her if she did that. Can't, and we can't be having rudeness now, can we? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, fucking hate when that happens, dude. It's <laughs> so lame. Mm. Yep, don't mind me. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell that I can tell this maze is gonna be a little tricky to 100 percent Like I think the last maze in particular is kinda wild. Alright, I'm gonna wrap I'm gonna do the wraparound method. Can't go wrong with wrapping around. Yeah, at least it's not Pac-Man 256. That would be a bit more dangerous. Okay, I think I'm missing some pack dots somewhere. Over here, I believe. Yeah, there's this straight away here. Alright, we're done. Yeah, I usually only die like one or two times. I usually, I usually only die like once in maze just because of bullshit like, you know, mostly pinky and blinky closing in on me like that. Oh yeah, this part is really stupid. I think this is the part that like prevented me from 100%ing this game. Cuz you have to make these pit, you have to make these perfect ass jumps with the damn pack dots. And if you don't, if you don't get it in one try, you die. And that's it. So, yeah. I mean, that jump, I don't mind too much. I also need- I also need to be, like, perfectly straight. Uh, uh, oh my- oh my goodness! It says, it says I haven't collected all the pack dots yet. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, I missed one, bro! I missed one! Again! Why? <laughs> Would that have been all of them if I had gotten that? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't really have too much problems with this one. Never mind, I died. You know, I, I am curious. I kind of would love to see them try and remake this game in the repack engine. But I kind of wonder just like if I wonder if like any of the charm will be lost if they decide to remake this game. Okay, so you need to jump at, like, the very edge of the boardwalk. Yeah, if you don't jump at the very edge, you're not making it. Oh, there's a token there. Ugh! Do I need to jump over there? That's a good question, and I don't know if I need to. Uh oh, uh, uh. You can barely make it if you if you cock it up. Yep, there we go.
I missed one again. Okay, you know what? Hang on. Let me just... I want to try and make this jump over here. Because this jump is hella precise. How the fuck do you make that? No, seriously, how? <laughs> how do you get over there? Do I have to platform across those little, like, nubs or something? Or whatever they're called? Like, the little... The little stake things? Oh, uh, I might as well just give up. Oh, they'll just give up, bro. I might have to try it. I might have to go for it. How the hell am I gonna do that? I jumped over it? Are you kidding me? How the hell did you jump over the pack dots? I don't know. I feel like if they remade this game, they should give the pack dots a little bit more reach. Like, just make the hitboxes a little bigger, please. Like, it'll make 100%ing this game so much better. Also, fix whatever the fuck is going on in the pack marine stage. Because that level sucks. <laughs> I missed it again. How? How do I keep missing that shit? I'm probably jumping too late or something. I think I still got this. Still got this. Okay, we got- we good- we good- we good. Uh-oh. Why? <laughs> oh. Oh. I had the- to... Bro, did I just buffer an input? I buffered an input, what the fuck? Okay, that, that, that death didn't count. Yeah, like, I deadass had to use safe states for this all, because this shit is ridiculous. Happened again, it happened again, I fucking missed another pack dot. This all is pissing me off, bro. You have my condolences if you tried 100% this game. <laughs> Cause oh boy. A lot, of, a lot of annoying shit can happen. Okay. So far so good. Like geez, you couldn't have put at least another checkpoint or something? No, how? How do you actually get over there? I don't know. At this point, I, I, I at this point, I just need to practice that part. I'm just gonna skip these pack tops, and I'm gonna try and make that jump because I don't know how the hell you're supposed to make that. Almost died again. Okay, whatever. Ignore that. Ignore that. I even jumped on that. Okay, you know what? What if I just take the normal pathway? Like, if I just take the normal path, would that be better? Or do I have to take the- do I have to take the hard path? Do I have to take the hard path? I don't even know what's on the hard path yet, because I haven't been over there. So I can't- I keep fucking dying before I even get the chance to go over there. Is this a case where I have to- I- I, I just clip through it. You clip through that shit. That's not even part of the geometry. I don't- I don't know what it wants me from me, man. <laughs> I 
Okay, how about we just take the normal pathway and get the token? Screw whatever's over there. I don't even know what's over- I don't know what's over there. I don't see anything. I see a pack- I see a pack dot thing over there. So you have to go over there. You have to go over there. But how the fuck do you get over there? Because I tried jumping over there and it doesn't work. Oh boy. Almost, almost fell again. At least I'm getting these pack dots more consistently, so there's that. How? How? How do you get over there? I don't get it. I might have to save scum this shit because this is ridiculous. Oh. Can't save scum. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna reload my state. If I even have one. <laughs> I genuinely question how you're supposed to get over there. <laughs> oh, this fucking- th that fucking bullshit happened again. Dude, I'm just gonna fucking end the stream after this level. This level sucks ass. This is not fun. We'll save the last two levels for their own stream, and then, uh... We'll try and go back and 100% some of the other levels? I don't know. Okay, I made it here. You can make that. Oh my god, that is so fucking tight. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, well, at least I got all the pack dots. Got all the cherries. Got all the melons. And all this with no checkpoints, too, by the way. I think that's it. Did I get everything? I think I did. Oh, I mean, I hope I did. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how much I did. Okay, I got everything. Okay, honestly, feeling a bit relieved after that. I might keep going. Jeez, I need a, I need a break after that level. That level, that level sucked. I mean, surely the last two levels of the game won't take that long, right? Yes. Anyways, we're back. Um, we just have two levels left, and then I'm done all the levels, but then I- but I have to go back and 100% the le rest of the levels, starting from, uh, what's it called? Um, Avalanche Alley? I have to start from there, and it's gonna be pretty annoying. That's why I just want to get all the levels done for now, but this is like the one really good level in this world. Actually, this and the final level are very good. Oh yeah, and there's also the skeleton enemies from, uh, Pac-Man World 1. But yeah, this level is great. I like this level. This is the one I always replayed a bunch as a kid. At least, at least in this world. <laughs> And I kind of want to kill that ghost. 
You're getting away, you little shit. I think the oh, okay. <laughs> That's supposed to be there. Is funky support? I like funky support. And let me um, let me reopen my soundboard. Should play out. I shouldn't play out of my TV now. Well, Pac-Man, Pac-Man's just vibing. He vibes whenever he's bored. <laughs> there we go. Got a lot of power pellets. And we, we also have um, the, the spider enemies from the, the forest world are also back. They make a, an appearance in this level. And we also have. Um, yeah. The camera's a little jank in this level, though. Could be a little better. <laughs> Most of these tokens are just kind of hidden, like, in the wall. For some, reason, for some reason, I feel like the, um... The spiders are gonna drop stuff when they're killed. But they don't actually drop anything. I don't think the bats drop anything, either. But I like to kill them anyways, just because it feels nice. <laughs> Ow. Rude ass spider, bro. The ghosts don't drop anything either, that's kind of weird. We got an extra life there. Oh yeah, here's like one of the most iconic parts of this stage. There's a, um... There's a maze, like an actual maze. <laughs> the problem is, is, is the camera's like going all over the place, like a fucking drunk oni, like Suica. And you know, we go around the corner, and randomly there's just a spider waiting to, you know, bite you in the ass. And that happens like at every corner. I'm gonna do the outside first, and then I'm gonna go in the center and eventually get all the pack dots. I think that's the start of the maze. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do the center of the maze now, which has all the pack dots. So you have to go to the other side of you have to go to the other side of this maze and there's just like stuff waiting for you. I don't know. Have I done have I done the entire maze? I think I did. Well I'm just being extra thorough. I think I did. I think I got all the maze done. I think this is the um, other side of the maze. Camera's being a little fucky. It, it kind of is fucky on this level. Or should I say funky? Yo, I got a follower. Let's go. Oh, also, <laughs> that, that that's really weird. You open a treasure and it has a fucking spring inside of it somehow. It doesn't make much sense, but it's, it's kind of funny though. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. At least the draw distance in this game is kind of decent. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a corner. One of these, one of these cliffs, actually has something. I, I think it's near like the end of the level, though. <laughs> oh yeah, we also just randomly have pack dots here. Wow, wow. Waka waka. For some reason, Pac Man going at mock speed can't eat all the pack dots. He's not Sonic after all.
that's all the pack dots. Okay, so I didn't miss any in the maze then. That's good. So, that, so now at this point, the level is just fruits. Okay, so I know where I need to go. But there's this little section down here. And there's there's stuff here. I see a token. Oh, I want that melon. That melon is. Wait, see, it, it reminds me of the the yukiri where he says lemones. Oh, the, the the spiders can have fruits. Hmm, weird. Is there anything down here besides the, um, besides the one-up? There's some health. Oh, that's a health. That's health, not a life. Okay, so here's what you're actually supposed to do. You're supposed to rev roll from up here. And if you rev roll from up here, you can make it over here. That confused some people, apparently. I think, um, I think some of these ghosts have, um, some of these ghosts have, they might have tokens, I don't remember. Oh, my power pellet ran out. Well, we can always use the checkpoint to find out, right? We're gonna find out if this ghost has anything back here. And if he doesn't, then I'll just die. Where'd he go? There he is. He does not have anything. Okay. Whoop! Bye. <laughs> Alright, so we have these platforms. These are fun. I like these. How they go, like, really fast. Spooter. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is this the part where it has like the secret cliff ledge thing? I think this is the ledge I'm thinking of right here. Ow. I wonder if I'm gonna make the same mistake that I did as a kid where I missed a fruit somehow. I don't think I got all the apples, did I? Isn't, aren't there like four apples in this level? It's like that. There's like that fourth mysterious apple that never shows up or something, including the singular strawberry. You know what? I dead ass think I missed it, just like I missed it as a kid. I think I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the level that has four apples, mysteriously. And I only- I only found three of them. I don't know where the last apple is at, though. Hold on. Oh. Wrong thing. Wrong save state. Hold on. Yeah, so, I don't know. I- I, I can never remember where that last apple is. Even- 20 years later, that apple is still a mystery. Let me look- let me look it up. Uh, Pac-Man... What if I just look up Nightcrawling Apple? This... <laughs> Nightcrawling Fourth Apple. Will Brave know what I'm talking about? Nope! Nope, it doesn't fucking know what I'm talking about. Pac-Man World 2 Guide, I guess, we can look up. Because people have been making guides for this game since, like, the dawn of time, I swear. And I'm gonna uh, control F. Actually, it might be better to just watch a video. That might be better. 
All right. Let's see. So where is this damn apple? I don't really like. You know, I I, I, I remember how much I hate reading freaking um, game facts in the middle of trying to find shit. Cause it's so reading a text guide is not the same as reading um, as watching a video. Video is just so much easier. Back here, ghost. This doesn't seem very optimal at all. Spiders, man. Ow, ow. I think this is where the uh, this is where the maze goes. I'm gonna, I guess we'll see if we can get this time trial first try. Cause a level like this, I don't mind doing time trials too much. Check that shit out. Oh, I got stuck on the torch there. That was weird. Missed the cycle, bro. Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. Uh, that's not something you want to see when doing a level like this. You definitely don't want to miss any cycles. Something like that was gonna happen. Fuck. Why? Why would that why would they do that to me? so much better than you think it is. Especially for speed running. <laughs> for the maze, I don't know. Especially with all these damn spiders in the way. Gotta not get hit too much, you know, that's all. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's a massive time loss. Bats, bro. I missed the cycle again. Yay! I love when that happens. Fuck it. I hate that bat, bro. Why does he always do that? Every damn time. 
Okay, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for that extra hit point, especially since I have to wait for the platform anyway. Let me on my platform. I don't want to miss my ride. I don't want to miss the bus. Yeah! I did it. Okay, that's reassuring at least. <laughs> At least I have that done. Hey, let's try the time trial on this one, too. I mean, it's a three minute long level, but. Whatever, right? At least the beginning won't be too bad. Burp. Mm, burp. Hello, funny ghost man. Hello, strange man. <laughs> I kind of do want to focus for this one. <laughs> I think the bottom round might be faster. Ugh, I, 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 that was weird. I don't even know what to say about that. I don't know what time I was at, I, I kind of lost track. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, got my health back immediately. Still need to watch more of that Mortal Kombat video from Clement after this. <laughs> and it sure is interesting. Especially considering I barely know anything about Mortal Kombat. The only thing I know is from Sub-Zero Mythologies. Which is a great game, by the way. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Yes, make it, make it, make it. I right, take the take the bomb right again. It's good for you. I don't know if it's worth stopping for the um for that. Why? I was at 53 seconds, by the way. <laughs> uh, nope. Nope, not doing that one. Not doing that one. Fuck that. Let's just do the last level in the game. We're at 158 tokens. That means I'm missing, like, a fuck ton of tokens somewhere. Anyways, this is the last level in the game. And it's also one of the longest. Because there's this, there's this funny tree. This this little, this all has a lot of cinematics in it too, which is nice. But yeah, already at the start you can just see like a crap ton of pack dots. I think this level also has the most pack dots out of any level, at like 535, I think. Oh yeah, we also have the sinking, we have the sinking, uh, platform business from earlier. <laughs> By the way, if you're playing this level on a dark TV, good luck. <laughs> I remember I had to, and I couldn't see shit. Even when I'm not playing on a dark TV, I still can't see shit. This level is also not fun to time trial for various reasons. Oh, 
Oh, and also there's a token there. You can see that. So we know where two of the tokens are on this level already, so that's good. We got a, we have a Funi organ in the background. Even when you turn off the music, there's like really good ambient noises in this game. <laughs> You can hear, like, weird, scary moaning in the background, for example. Obviously, you have the funny owl stock sound that's used in a lot of nighttime shit. Alright. This part of the level is really easy, though. It's like later in the level is what I'm worried about. One part in particular that I don't like is the part where you have to kill like 20 skeletons. That part really fucking sucks. And also, it's like so incredibly easy to sequence break this level. Which also makes it kind of hard to 100% because it's kind of hard to figure out where you need to go. <laughs> Just, that's another thing. And also these these freaking pack dots, man. I don't know why they're so hard to get. Like you can't you can't you can't do like a half press. You kind of have to do like an awkward jump and then do a grab. Oh yeah, there's also life in there that you can just kind of grab. And there's all of, there's a bunch of like freaking fruits here and all that good stuff. This part is fun though, I will admit. Yeah, there's like all these food fruits I can grab for free, man. So many good shit. So many good shit. <laughs> so I think at the most, I, at the, this level, I'll have like 166 tokens or something, I want to say. I don't know. I know there's a timer that's gonna pop up soon. It's like somewhere around here. Or, or maybe not. <laughs> this, part, this part's really weird, after all. Well, these both lead to, like, the same point. And also, I remember, I, remember, I remember this jump in particular being, like, really hard. Sometimes you'll randomly just slip off for no reason. Okay, here's the part where you gotta kill like 20 skeletons. <laughs> Be able to feed all my skeleton minions before time runs out. Yeah. Now, as a kid, this scared the shit out of me, but I think it's kinda, it's kinda easy if you just like mash A a bunch. Keep going along a path, you kill a bunch of skeletons. Pretty easy. Actually, I don't think it's easy. I think I have to go over to the other side. There we go. Yeah. Anyways, it's, that's that's it. It's not actually that bad. The real problem here is rem is knowing which way you have to go. And there's also a ghost. Funny ghost. There's just a random regular ghost out here for no reason. The draw distance makes this level a lot tougher. Okay, there's a galaxy in there. I kind of want to go along this path and just see what's over here. Hmm. That's what I mean. This level, this level is like an actual maze. It's kind of hard to figure out where you need to go. What if I go the other way? Because I know there was another path I could go. So we ignore that ghost. Can we how, we? how about we ignore that ghost and we go on the other road? 
there's that path that has all the pack dots on it. There's more ghosts, or more skeletons for you to kill if you need. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. It really feels like there's two different ways to go in this level, which I don't really like that much. And it's really easy to get lost. So, like, where the fuck am I going now? This, like, this leads over here, and where, where am I now? <laughs> This is back where the, um... No, like, seriously, where the fuck am I? Where'd I go? What, how, why am I here? Like, I think this is new? Oh, there's also, like, just a crap ton of fruit over there for no reason. I will admit, this level design is a bit weird. <laughs> I think what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to just jump back this way. Well, I haven't been over here yet. Because there's there's new enemies here. Mm. I kind of want to go get that Galaxian now. I don't remember where it's at, though. I gotta go find it. Oh, there's this ghost. Okay, well, there's a checkpoint here, so that's something. Hmm. I need to go back and get that Galaxian, wherever it's at. Oh yeah, also, randomly, sometimes there'll just be invisible walls in this level. For no reason at all. <laughs> hmm. Have I been here yet? Some, sometimes this level just doesn't make any sense. I think I'm going backwards. Also, that can happen. Okay, well, let's just go this way then. This level is still really fucking weird. And also because you can backtrack to like earlier parts of the level, I think, and like you can sequence break to later part. It's just weird. I wanna go, um I wanna go back and find that Galaxian. Cause so that's bothering me now. Well here's one way you can get back. You can, uh, this thing is like kind of a slope, and if you rev roll off of it, yeah, you can get over here. I almost killed myself. Okay, so here's the last Galaxian in the game. Oh, you know what I just realized? There's no Galaxian in uh, Nightcrawling, I'm pretty sure. It's one of the few levels to not have one. Which is actually really strange. Really strange that it doesn't have it. I didn't really think about that until just now, but yeah, <laughs> that is indeed the case. Nope, not gonna let you, not gonna let you kill me. So yeah, the only, there's three levels in the game that don't have, um, Galaxians. The hub world, the first level, and then that level. It's really weird, they chose to exclude it from that one. There's also unused music in this game. And one of the unused songs... Oh, okay. They just, just, just straight up did not want to give me the uh, Galaxian, I guess. One of the unused songs is like an 8-bit... What do you call it? Um, It's like a maze-sounding version or slash chiptune version of the um, like main theme of the game. So this is really, really bad. I almost died there. Kinda lucky I didn't. Okay. 
Get checkpoint. I, I don't really like the draw distance in this. You know, I kind of wonder about something. There's a disable fog feature on Dolphin. What happens if I turn that on? Can I even turn that on? Disable... Is there a disable fog option? Disable fog. Oh. Huh. It kind of fucks with the... It really fucks with the level, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Jose. Okay, so yeah, for comparison... Here's the level without fog... And here's the level with fog. So the fog kinda like... Culls out, um... Parts of the level. It's kind of interesting. This, this level, like... It takes mass- it, 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 like, you get massive usage of fog. It's like Silent Hill fog, like, seriously. I mean, I don't think I want to play with the fog off, because it's kind of to the game's benefit to play with it. Even though it doesn't make it- it does make it harder to see where I'm going. But, I'll, I'll play with it. All these free fruits I'm getting, though, man. It's just too good. Uh, am I getting anything by, anything by going back this way? I don't think so. Oh, good job on playing Toho 9. You get to see Mommy CBT. <laughs> Is there anything over here? There's nothing over here. What the fuck? I think this just takes me back to the Galaxian. Which is kind of awkward. Yeah, the fog gets really aggressive. Yeah, I'm going back. I'm going backwards now. That's a bit weird. So going this way takes me to that whole maze part. I actually don't know if this leads anywhere. Cause there's like a crap ton of pathways you can go here. And there's a skeleton. There's a skeleton. Oh wait, this is how you get these pack dots over here. This is this is where the, this is near the start of the level from earlier, if you guys remember. There's like 500 pack dots, so I don't know where the other ones are at, but we gotta find them. There's there's more fruit over there. Oh shit! I want those. Am I gonna be able to even able to get over there? This is a dead end. This is dead ass a dead end. Okay, so I gotta find some way to get over there. Which means slowly walking back through this way. You can kinda just see things pop in because of the fog. You know, they probably, you know, I think I found, I think I know the reason why they do that, though. And it's because this level is fucking massive, so in order to, like, render everything at once, they kind of have to do that. They kind of have to re render everything out. So, I want to see what happens if I go this way. This goes over here. And this takes me here. Is this just like a big dead end? There's, a, there's like yeah. The problem is you can't really, you can't really cheese this level. If you try to rev roll over there, you're basically bound to die. Unless you can get like a really lucky shot, like that, I guess. You know, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try that out. 
Hold on. Whoop. The fucking skeleton cucked me. Okay, no, no, that doesn't count. That's bullshit. Oh. Hold on, let me try that again. There we go. I don't know if this is how you're actually supposed to get over here, but fuck it. <laughs> we take those. There's a dead end, so clearly I'm supposed to come from here. I'm supposed to come here from somewhere. Wait. Huh? Are you actually supposed to rev roll over here, then? This is weird, bro. <laughs> What is this level? There's also another- there's also another thing over there. Okay, so where's this? Where's this at? This is another part of the level that I'm not supposed to be at? Wait, where am I now? What? <laughs> where the hell am I? I hate- th th that's the only thing I like- I don't like about this level, is it's really confusing. This is a dead end. This is- this takes me back over here. Is this where the Galaxian is again? Oh, there it is. There are platforms over here. And I don't know what the deal with these platforms are. This might be new? I think this is new. I haven't been over here before. It's completely different, huh? Interesting. I don't want to hit that switch over there. I know, I know you have to hit that switch later. I should probably just take the normal path. Like a normal person. <laughs> There's more fruit over there. Oh, well, there's, there, there's fruit here. I guess we're taking this path. But yeah, this all is one big fat maze with not a lot of checkpoints apparently. So I'll make my own checkpoints. Well, there's a checkpoint right there. Got all the apples. Got all the cherries. All the melons. And all the strawberries. I just got all the fruits in this level. So now I just have to find all the pack dots. And that's a, that's a whole other... That's a whole separate issue is finding the damn pack dots. And there's also a checkpoint here. Do we have to, like, rev roll around it? Err. Toho 9 is about who loses all their lives first. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I forgot it has that weird ass gimmick. Err. <laughs> no, seriously, why do they put a fucking why why is there a gate a damn gate here? It's so weird. It's so, very awkward too. You have to like, you have to like almost kill yourself just to get that. There's a teleporter there. So is that gonna make Toho, is that to gonna make Toho 9 a very awkward game, the 1cc, you think? Or maybe not, I don't know. These these pack dots are also gonna be kinda awkward they get as well. Like why do I have to jump off the ledge to get these? It's so strange. Okay, so there's another switch you have to hit. Which makes a pack dot that may okay. Did I do this level backwards again? I might have done this level backwards again. I keep, every time I play this level, I always do it the wrong way. 
I never do it the right way. Well, I don't know. I don't remember this. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, I honestly wish I could just see, like, a map of this level and just see where all the pack dots are. Yeah, every time I play this level, I always do it the wrong way. Which is really it's kind of funny, honestly. So that's where you're supposed to- so that's how you get to this checkpoint. And then you get over here. And then there's, you know, all this nonsense. Now the fog's being a little less aggressive. Okay, but well that doesn't answer the question. What, what is that switch for? Okay, well, if this is the intended way to go, then... Oh, oh, there's a switch here. Was this here earlier? I don't remember this being here. <laughs> At least I know I won't have to worry about fruit. Fruit. Okay, so this takes me... This takes me where exactly? This takes me over here. Oh. Oh. It added a bunch of pack dots. This is so weird. <laughs> I love how bizarre this level is. Did it add a pack dots the other directions too, or is it just here? So we have we, we have to go a little while without a checkpoint too, so we gotta be careful. Well, I'll know the end of the level when I see it. Gotta be careful. Okay, so that puts a switch here. Hmm. There's also a checkpoint there. Like, how the fuck do I get over there? I can rev roll over there. I know that. Okay. And we have that. This is a, this is a completely separate checkpoint. Okay. Well, I'll grab this one then. <laughs> and then... Then what? I need to get back over there somehow. Oh, well, I overshot it. Okay. We're gonna go back to where that- we're gonna go back to that checkpoint. Um... Wait, where was it again? Uh-oh, I'm lost. <laughs> I think it was over here. Wait, there's another token there. Hold up. How many damn tokens are there here? Is there another? There's a, there's three tokens on this one platform. Why the hell did they put that many here? And also, I don't know how to get back now. I think I have to use. I think I have to do this. Oh boy. Yeah, I think oh boy is gonna be like the catchphrase of this series. <laughs> Smash Bros of Toho. So Toho 9 is also a fighting game. It's basically Soku, but it, it's the bullet hell format. Which is indeed very strange. <gasps> okay. So that puts a teleporter. That's how you're supposed to actually get over there. <laughs> I keep sequence breaking this damn level every time I play it. I'm like, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to break you didn't mean to sequence break your level. Um okay, well let's go back. So I'm supposed to use that teleporter to get over there. 
Didn't mean a rip on your big bad belt. So you're supposed to get over there by, um, by doing that. But I can also just. Oh, I overshot it. Yeet. Yeah, you can just do that. And then I think this is the last, um, this is the last thing of the level, but here's the thing. I don't know how many pack dots this is going to give me. If this doesn't give me 535, I'm kind of shit out of luck. I think I got it. I did it. Woo! It's trying to be different from the, from the same main games. You have defeated my maze. I am no match for you. My flames, the flames grow weak. <laughs> Pac-Man, what have you done? <laughs> yeah, so if you didn't get all pac dots there, you'd be kind of just be forced to kill yourself. I think you can, actually. Or well, actually... Oh, I don't think you can, actually. Well, I got all the pack dots and items, but I don't know if I got all the, um, tokens. Hmm? I missed a token somewhere. Well, shit. Either way, um... Oh yeah, look at this. There's just smoke here. Think of think of entries from different series like Simon's Quest, Doki Doki, Mario, Zelda 2, and Smash Bros. Brawl. So it's just kind of like a black sheep, I guess? I don't know. I don't know if that's the right word. Anyways, guys, we have 166 tokens. Instead, let's go to let's go to Pack Village and just check out see how many tokens we've gotten. Cause I know there, there's 189 tokens. That means I'm missing like 23. You need 14 more tokens to play Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, I know. Crazy, huh? Okay. Before I fight the final boss... Um... We're gonna check what levels we need to go back to. We're just gonna go... We're just gonna do a quick, like... A quick, like, check. I know all... I know the first two worlds are completely 100%. Ice River Run is 100%. Avalanche Alley, 100%. This level, I need to get the Time Trial and all the Fruit and Pack Dots. It's not gonna be fun. Um, this level, I need the Time Trial. This level, I also need the Time Trial. This level, I missed a token and I need the Time Trial. This level needs the time trial on all the fruits. This level needs the, a, a missing token, all the fruits, and the time trial. And this level is just... Jesus Christ, this level. <laughs> this level is a fucking mess. But... Uh, and then, this level needs the time trial. This level needs the fruits and the time trial. And then this level needs a missing token in the time trial. So yeah, there's a there's a lot of cleanup. The cleanup takes a while. So yeah. Anyways, let's fight the final boss and call it a day, shall we? I'll watch the final boss, because the, the, the final cut seems pretty damn cool. Gold Pac-Man. This this final boss does go hard though. <laughs> At least as hard as it can go for Pac-Man standards. <laughs> Pretty damn good cutscene. <laughs>
I hope I'll enjoy Toho 9. Alright, so this guy, this guy, you gotta, you gotta do a lot of dodging. <laughs> yeah, his iron, his iron concentration or whatever you said. Where the fuck did he go? It's like your only. It's like your only time to hit him is when he's like laughing, like ha ha, I hit, I ha ha, I get Pac-Man. Ooh, green fire. Ideally, I'd like to do this all in one nice run so we can hear the full loop of the music. Ow, Jesus, man. And also, the boss drops health, too, which is really great. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, going, he's going to go crazy with the fireballs. Oops, Scooter. We're just going to have all this health here in case I need it. <laughs> That's why this boss is really fun. Because um, he summons a lot of like random enemies from the, from out for, like from out the game, which is great because all the enemies drop health when you need it. <laughs> also, there's like homing fireballs too. There we go, and the skeleton man. Fireball, the fireballs really love to home in on me. <laughs> Say goodbye to Packland. Oh yeah, he doesn't he like reverse your controls? Ow. He's a lot of fireballs. <laughs> this fucking ram guy. <laughs> Ow. There's just so much health, though. It's it's kind of impossible to die in this. It's just supposed to be the cool climactic final boss. Hello, Skeleton Man. Well, he's supposed to reverse your controls, but I think he only does that if you take too long to hit him. Ow. <laughs> this is the final hit, so he's, he's supposed to be aggressive. Yeah! Also, I saw, like, the 5,000 pop out of him. I didn't realize he's actually supposed to be like talking there. <laughs> I thought he was just making like random grunts. Uh, I'm gonna be playing with Jordan in like a few hours, and then if I have time after that, then we could probably play um, Radiant Dawn. So that'll be like my <laughs> fourth stream of today. I'm gonna be doing like four streams every day because I just really want to play more of this game, bro. Yeah, all the freaking pack people, dude. Uh oh. 
Look, look, look at all these random pack people. <laughs> Everybody's just celebrating. Well, I mean, I beat the final boss. I didn't get all the tokens, though. I might, I'm probably gonna go back for those. Because I, I really want to. I really want to try and 100% this damn game. But yeah, there you go, guys. We got, we got, um... I think I ended the game on, like, 160-something. This game is really short, the more I think about it. But that's why I like it so much, because if you're trying to go for 100%, it actually takes a lot longer. Like, I think speedruns of this game are done in, like, two hours. So if you speedrun the crap out of this game, you can just get it done in, like, two hours. I think Pac-Man World 1 is also kind of similar in that vein. Although, I'd argue that game is even shorter, because um, it doesn't have, like, a... like. It doesn't really force you to go for 100%. Like, you're not forced to get every pack dot and fruit in that game. But then again, uh, Pac-Man World 1 also has that whole thing where, like, you can't beat the final boss unless you, um... Unless you get all your family back. Because <laughs> you have to save your family in that game. Strangely... Strangely, most of Pac-Man's family isn't in this game. And then, um, eventually I want to play Pac-Man World 3, which I've never played before, outside of, like, a few times I played it back when it came out. I sent good-looking sauce? Why the question mark? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's post this Iku. Iku, Iku's always great. <laughs> it's the funny fish. Yeah, I mean, I, I could I could use like a couple hour break after this anyway, and then I'm gonna play uh, I'm gonna play with Jordan after that, so that'll be fun. Oh, wow, that is that is the re most abrupt credits ever. What the hell? <laughs> that was really weird. Okay, so yeah, we have 166 tokens. There's a hundred, 189 tokens. Which means I need 23 more. So that's what the next few episodes are gonna be. I don't actually, I don't know. Okay. So real quick. I'm gonna do something. Okay, guys. So we are going to test out. We are going to see. If PCSX2. If this ver- We're gonna see if this version of Pac-Man World 2 is the Black Label version. <laughs> the Dancing Lightning Fish. Yep. <laughs> this is the final thing I want to test out. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna do, um... Oh, there's, there's, there's actually music. I'm gonna create a save for the memory card on the PS2. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Alright. Save successful. That's, that's the opening cutscene. Okay. So, yeah. I need to find out. It, let me find... Let me... I, hey, okay. So, if this is the Black Label version of Pac-Man World 2, this ghost should kill me instantly. Oh my god, it is. Pac-Man is happy, but he's depressed inside. This is actually the Black Label version of the game. You guys don't understand what this means. <laughs> you know what this means? This version of Pac-Man World 2... ...is harder. I, I can't- it's kind of hard to explain. But... Okay, I, th I think I explained it in episode one, but I'll just explain it again after I uh, do this level and beat it. And also, I'm not going to 100% this one. This one, this one's just gonna be for for fun. Also, saves a lot quicker too. Interestingly. 
Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll just explain it here. So, Pac-Man World 2 was originally recent, released in 2002 for the PlayStation 2. And when they originally released the game, it was a lot harder than every single revision of the game. The GameCube version of the game, the Xbox version, the PC version, and also the Greatest Hits version of the PlayStation 2 version are all the second revision of the game. And so what the second revision of the game did was it lowered the difficulty because they thought the PS, the original PS2 version was way too hard. And so basically this version that I have right here is the original revision on the PlayStation 2. And as a little bonus, I want to do a playthrough of this ver specific version and try and note, try and keep track of all of the, um, keep track of all the uh, different changes they made. <laughs> stop, stop explaining because I'm summoning ads. Well, I don't know. The ads always show up when I don't want them to. It's yeah, it's, it's not really like a patch because they made a they re, they well I guess it kind of is like they changed some shit and then they shipped out the game a second time with those changes and this specific version of the game uh, is harder because ghosts instantly kill you and some of the level design is also harder that's just, that's like two of the main things I don't know every single like change which is why I want to play this version and find out for myself. So yeah. Either way, um that's what I'm that's what I might do next time. I might just play this version of the game. I kind of need a little break from the GameCube version anyway so I can get my mind off of um playing um what do you call it? Let's just say I don't want to fucking play time trials and go for all the tokens right now. I'm not in the mood to try and 100% the GameCube version. It it's a pain in the ass. So, I'm just gonna play this version, because this will be this will be more fun anyways. So, yeah. Either way, guys, thanks for watching uh, Pac-Man World 2. A little lot of fun, though. I am enjoying this game still. But, as always, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, again, I'm gonna take, like, a few hours break. And then later, I'm gonna play with Jordan, so that'll be fun. But, I uh, hope you guys take care, and I will see you later in the day for probably a few more streams like i think at, like at 6 p.m my time i'm gonna play I'm gonna play infernax that's the game that we're gonna try out we're gonna play that for a few hours and then i think at like 9 p.m i want to say uh jose is gonna play radiant dawn and hopefully we don't play for fucking three hours again because i i, I hate that <laughs> i hate having to i hate it when i play that game until like midnight and i'm just like exhausted but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm curious. So, yeah. Anyways, take care, guys. I'm, I'm done waffling.